of what product or service can I create that is of value that people want to then provide me with their money? So you want to earn revenue. Does that make sense? Yeah? So it's a different mindset that we're looking at. Now you've come here, some of you have businesses already, some of you are, have some ideas floating around in your head, and so if you have a business already, you might start thinking, well, can I do anything else? Can I add? So let's take a look. We start off with an idea assessment. No, as Kim mentioned, we will be starting at six, we will be finishing at seven, and so for 60 minutes, you will get a great deal of information being put to you. So if you have any questions, please write down the questions and then send them to NICE and then I'll respond once they forward it on to me. Make sense? We have a lot to cover over the time. You want to get your businesses up and running so that by the end of the 100 days, you are already earning revenue. Okay? So here's the idea assessment. You want to start thinking, what are your ideas for a business? So you say to yourself, well, what are some interests or hobbies? Some people love to make things. And some people tell them, you know, you would be great at making this as a business. And have you ever heard that or said that to someone? You know, you make lovely cakes. You make lovely necklaces. You really should do that as a business, we tell them. But you have to be careful that your hobby, when it becomes a business, that you still love it. Because many times you'll be up at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning making those same necklaces, making the same cakes and wondering to yourself, do I still really love this hobby? So the number one principle when it comes to entrepreneurship is one word, resiliency. As an entrepreneur, you're going to want to build your level of resiliency to be able to keep bouncing back from the challenges that you're going to be facing because you will have those challenges. I mean, we all have challenges in life, but you will have the challenges of managing your own business and trying to earn that revenue rather than try to make the money. So we talk, we start to generate ideas. We say to you, we ask you, well look, what are some items that you purchased recently for under $10? Are those, does that stimulate or generate any ideas for a business? Then we start looking at luxury items, because you want to earn revenue. So now we're talking about margins as well, profit margins. How much profit do you want to make? How much are you investing? Are you going to get into the cosmetic business? What is it going to be? Or is it going to be an everyday item? Are you going to create a habit for your customer that every day or every week they have to have your product or your service? And we see that every day at the drive through actually fed. Yes, or Kentucky. You, they've become, it's become a habit. Let me just pop in, right? Just get something quick, and then keep moving. So what can become a habit? So those are some ideas as well that you can look at for starting a business. And so then we ask, well, what one thing do you see people use or buy more than anything else every week? What shows up? What are some purchasing patterns that you have, or that you see your friends have, or that you have? Now, once upon a time, here we did not drink a lot of coffee. We had a lot of tea. No, right? You see people buying tea, having to stop in, uh, buying coffee, having to stop in, make a purchase, and we just get one for the morning. And then, when the morning one wears off, you say, let me just start mm -hmm, to get one for the afternoon. Just keep me going, and then as you become an entrepreneur, you figure, well, let me drink some for the night, because I've got to work at night now as well. If you want to make big changes, I don't know, you have different ideas. Some of us have small ideas, right? We want to do things and just keep the revenue generating and ticking over. Others say, well, what are some things that changed your life over the last 10 to 15 years? What are some inventions that you've been looking at? Do you want to be a part of that sector? It's not always about the traditional products and services that we've offered. Do you want to create the next Google? Do you want to be the next Steve Jobs creating different technology that we now infuse into our daily lives? You know, we didn't know we needed the iPod until he put it out. And then we didn't know that we needed the iPad, all right? And now everybody needs a tablet. Even my mother 
needs a tablet. And I was like, what do you need? You need tablets. That's what you're talking about. You need tablets. You, got, you want aspirin. She said, no, I need a tablet. I go, well, what do you need a tablet for? Well, you know, it, I would just become more productive. She said, I said, productive? Doing what? But she needed to have a tablet. So it's changed life, right? Give it a nickname, Lenny. But many of you say, Brian, my business needs money. I need to have money to start. Well, this channel, the BEF Barbados Entrepreneurship Foundation's $20 challenge for fourth form and fifth form students, when you watch what they have done with $20, you will be amazed. And if they can start it with $20, you can start it as well. All right? Anytime you need. There's a great one. There's a gentleman, Shaheen Coggins. If you watch that video, and his story about his entrepreneurial journey, you'll be blown away. All right, so you keep these ones in mind. You have entrepreneur.com and that channel, well, the website plus the channel. We have Entrepreneurs Anonymous as well, that you can watch those videos, and we have the BEF Challenge that will help you and keep you inspired. We have the gentleman here in Gozi, he has blended blessings, and he's talking about, you know, he looked around and said, what could I start as a business? And he had a golden apple tree, and he saw all the golden apples on the ground. So I wonder what I could do with those. I could blend them and make juices. And so for the first year, that's what he did. He had a <laughs> mom blender, right, at home. The mother boy, we blended all these golden apples for all the time. Say, well, this is BF $20 challenge. And he's now, he had his mother register the business for him, because he's not yet 18. And he now makes golden apple. He has one that was fantastic. I did. Uh, tamarind and ginger, that one was really good. You have a lemon as well, so he has all different flavors. So he's expanded his range, just starting off with the blended blessings. Right? He even brought in his sister to help him out. We asked, did you pay your sister? He's like, nah, I didn't pay your sister. But, you know, that's goodwill. So if you have family that you can extract goodwill from to get you started, right? hopefully later on he'll give her something, maybe buy her chocolate, I'm not sure. But to me, that is entrepreneurial. There is no such thing, ladies and gentlemen, as unresourceful people. Only unresourceful states. Entrepreneur.com is your friend. Your best friend. Second to entrepreneur.com would be barbadosentrepreneurs.org. That could be your second best friend. But entrepreneur.com has all the information you will require. When I say all, I really mean most. So I didn't say all, all. I said all. But you're talk, we're here talking about business ideas. On this page alone, if you go to entrepreneur.com and you go into the first tab that says startups, there is a section that says business ideas. And when you scroll down, it will take you to over 900 business ideas that you can look at for starting a business. So when in doubt, right, Google it. That's what I always say. Go to entrepreneur.com, when in doubt, Google it. Google it has the answer. Google doesn't have the answer, that means it hasn't been invented yet. That's really what it means. And that means you have a real new idea. So that's even better. <laughs> you can look at it that way. All right, so there's entrepreneur.com. Now, when you go to YouTube, which I'm going to show you in a minute, entrepreneur.com has a YouTube channel. So if you don't like the reading, much like myself, you can go and watch all of the videos. And even better is you can watch your videos at a higher speed. If you watch it, you know, sometimes it's a regular and you see 10 minutes, you can increase the speed of which it shows by one and a half or two times. So it's double the speed. So 10 minute video now takes five minutes, so you know, saving time. So that's a little life hack right there that you've gotten to help you speed up your learning.